skulle vi träffas i Bavaria fotografer vad de men. Det fotografin där han det där sen där som han sa den där. Nej, hon blev så mycket där igen. I'm just attracted to visual arts uh, world, like when I was a kid. Because you know? my aunt's uh, husband used to used to paint. And uh, you know, I used to pick up his books and try to draw them. Now. I always say I, I became a photographer because I'm a bad uh, painter. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I started doing graphic design first before I did the photography thing. Because uh, uh, I started getting bad photos now. Yeah, that, you spend so much on the design and then you get like a, a bad picture because that they don't work together so i was like i'm gonna start taking pictures so i started doing it for free you know just for the design mark you know i always say i'm a sum of a lot of people you know and uh definitely ida ida Molina is one she took me under her wing like when i started out you know show showed me what's what Osborn Macharia, a uh, brother from Kenya, a photographer, a friend, a uh, mentor. Uh, you know, a lot of fashion photographers I look up to, like I see their work every every time. Like Tim Walker, um, you know, Mario, Mario Testino. Yeah. Guys like that, you just look at their work and you go like, okay, I'm gonna do that one day, you know. Collaborations, you have, it's a two-way street. I gotta get something out of it, you gotta get something out of it. Or you gotta create something like that for you. Sometimes, you know, people walk up to you and they just collaborate and they're just making you work. I'm like, well, what's going on? You know what I mean? They take so much of your time, it goes nowhere. And only one party gets something out of it. Even for me, for, for example, when I collaborate with different models, I want the model to get something out of it. Like, you know, something that can put their name and their vision out there. I don't want it to be like, oh, you know, I shot with Mukra, whatever. You know what I mean? I really, I really think about those things. You know, when I ask people like, "Oh, can I, can we use your cloth?" You know, it has to be something in it for them as well. So when you call a photographer and you call them and they're like, "We gotta collaborate on something," it gotta hit. It gotta make an impact. So I have this uh, uh, series I'm trying to work on. It's called the Artist Circuit. So I'm trying to get like uh, different artists that I can shoot a portrait with. Uh, to have them as a sitter and I've been fortunate enough to like shoot a couple of them uh, I'm sure you're gonna see it like sometime soon but I'm trying to shoot uh, uh, Gash Mahmoud uh, it would be such an honor I mean I do a lot of portraits I, I do a lot of conceptual art but in terms of my aesthetic you know I, I, I like uh, I like very contrasty images big on the dark tone and I like the storytelling part as well, you know, the conceptual, you know, piecing together uh, different uh, forms and different pieces to bring like one single image. Um, I like forcing the pixels to bend. You know. So I, I, I saw this one guy here uh, uh, that do like glass, they, they do like glass blowing. That would be interesting. You know, to do like uh, something dynamic with glass because they have like colored glass and the way that light hits the colored glass yeah but I didn't even know we had like glass blowers here but I thought that when I saw that how the light was working it was, it was beautiful so the process starts with me writing sketching I, I plan it out and then shoot it, and then shoot the photo I mean I, I understand like sometimes you have to get to the place and start getting creative as they say but you need a spine that you want to build you know the muscle on so we write a sketch i talk about it with my uh, my team on how to pull it off and and then we execute and then the picture comes out works off tim walker i think are just beautiful for me like, you know and i love the process when after i found i found out like that the writing is a very important process in this image making and I discovered his work, I found out he writes and sketches as well. And I was like, this is my guy, you know what I mean? So his works are very, they hit home. Uh, shoot day starts uh, at least 10 days before, 10, seven days before. We have like a week interval most of the time. We have to come up with, you know, the briefing. We come up with a mood board and the direction that we want to take it in, the styling, the light, you know, and we come together and we figure out these nuances on what goes where, if we need additional stuff, or you know, 
we need props. And once we sketch it out, we go for the execution. And then the shoot dates, it's, uh, it's interesting because after uh, many years, the, the, sh the actual shooting part, the process of shooting has become much easier because of the pre-production. And we don't spend as much time shooting uh, because we know what we want. After doing a lot of posts in my life, you know, I found out that it's the pre-production that makes it easier. So we spend our, a lot of our time on pre-production. So with yesterday's shoot, uh, we were trying to get um, that dynamics between the projection mapping, where we can display a background that we cannot access at some point, and try to stitch uh, the subject in and add a little texture so it can uh, you know give that perspective uh, so i'm trying to get her like to be pushed by like a gust of wind as she is playing the instrument that's the kind of vibe i was going for where we can imagine if she's falling over the cliff or just aside you know trying to have the viewer also kind of like fall with her you know so you know that romantic aesthetic uh, free falling as you can say because the photographer is a thinker i think that's the thing about when you get a camera you have to think it's not about snapping away you have to think where the light is you have to, you have to think about who your subject is how you want to represent them so think what am i trying to say i think people or photographers should know that if you get the message across that you're trying to say that's a good photo I'll say that. You know, it's not about being sharp or it's not about having a good light. I mean, there are famous images that are blurred out, but they tell you the story. They tell, they show you what the photographer wanted to show. Photography definitely is uh, one of the powerful mediums. You know, uh, a mentor used to say to me, I remember, I said, your images they never matter right now. They matter later. You know? So it's a, a time capsule.